everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and I just want to say I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, so I'm kind of got myself situation in my living room, so I'm between my Christmas tree and my fireplace mantle so you can see them. I will be dismantling it all later today. I am one of those, I love keeping my stuff up through January, but I was just going for sale in just a couple weeks, so I've got to take all that stuff down now. But I thought I would just do a really fun video as to what we got for Christmas. Now, having three or having three kids who've moved out and one still living at home, so my kids are between these is 16 and 22. So we do family gifts to try to get the older kids to come back home. So this year for family gifts, we got the Nintendo Switch. Just dropped it. The stuff is falling out of the box. But we got the Nintendo Switch. I went with the classic white and black. I just thought it looked so just, you know, it's gonna be around the house. We don't need the fancy colors, just do the classic black and white. I think it just, you know, streamlines it. Easy to do. My kids love just, you know, plastering everything with stickers anyway. So it's gonna be covered with stickers, so I did that and I'll get to the games that we got too but we also got a PS5. I am a gamer. I'm actually more of a console gamer not PC so I love Xbox. In fact the Xbox that's mine is a PS2 so I'm going from a PS2 to a PS5 so that should tell you how old school I am when it comes to my games. So the PS5. So with that being said, I will show the games. Although there's one game missing, I don't know which one it is. It's one of the Lynx or Legend of Zelda. My daughter has it up in her room. She was playing with it. So we got Minecraft, um, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, uh, Mario Kart 8, and Just Dance 2024. And you can tell that, you know, none of these have been opened yet. So she's only taken the one um, Zelda game. There are four Zelda games. We managed to get three right before Christmas. The one was sold out. So we'll have to go back and try to find it. But at 80 bucks a game, I think two, four, six games that, well, I guess the one was on sale for 30. <laughs> but the other one's paying about 80 bucks a game. I think that's a good start. And then for the PS5, we got the Hogwarts, so it's the Harry Potter one, and Final Fantasy 16. I love Final Fantasy, that's what I really enjoy playing. So, but, consoles, and then, oh, let me read it. of course, as much as we are as gaming and puzzle family, we have to include uh, like puzzles and board games. So we got the board game My Hero, Academia. It's a anime that some of my kids watch. I'm not quite sure who watches it, but it's just a board game based off of an anime, which, you know, it's a win in our house. It, too bad it's not Monopoly. Monopoly is my favorite game to try to get everything. And then I found this one and I really wanted it, but I found it right before Christmas. So the only thing I could do is wrap it up as a family gift. It does take, you know, quite a few people to play, but I do love James Bond. So I found Spectre, the board game. And it's the 60th anniversary of Bond. I don't know what year exactly this came out. Last year, so 20, 2022, because I thought, yeah, it's so uh, Spectre board game. So you are, it kind of looks like Risk, but you are the villain in this game. So I can't wait to find anybody who wants to play this game with me. And then also with that being said for oops, games and puzzles, because me and my daughter, we do puzzles. Um, we got this puzzle here. It's a thousand pieces and it has all the classic um, movie posters, that's what they're called on here and I just thought that would be just so cool to do. There's so many um, movie posters on here of movies that I have forgotten about or some I haven't even seen. I've never even heard of. So this again just gives me an idea to look up some old classic movies. 
for a good family movie night. Find one of these movies and build the puzzle while we're watching the movies. Uh, my daughter got me this puzzle and I thought it was so funny. Last year we bought the one, but we bought the um, Halloween version of this puzzle and it's the door. So this is the Christmas door puzzle. We are working on the Halloween puzzle. So it's all the different doors. Puppy, oh, she's gonna knock my tripod over. <laughs> so it's all the different doors decorated for Christmas. So we're gonna have fun doing that. vintage puzzle with the Kellogg's breakfast cereals. This would be just, I said it's only, this one's only 500 pieces. This is a pretty simple puzzle compared to like the thousand piece puzzles. Um, is that it for family games? I think so. Um, I'm just trying to reach over here. Oh, we got a couple movies. Um, Okay, a couple weeks ago, me and my daughter, we went and saw the Barbie movie. So she actually bought me the Barbie movie because I said I love the movie. So she doesn't even take the price tags off. <laughs> gifts. That's okay. And then we also got another anime. This is by G Kids or the uh, Ghibli Studios, I believe. Yeah, nope, it's not. No, this one is just G Kids. So this is not. Um, not Ghibli, but it's still the anime. This is uh, Children of the Sea. I've never seen it, never heard about it, saw it, you know, wrapped it up for Christmas. And then, let's see, I'm trying to find, reach things. Okay, I love Charmed Aroma. And I have to say, I'm kind of sad to hear that where I live, they actually closed out right before Christmas. They've been gone for little over a week now um they're now just gonna be online so that's kind of sad but um my daughter bought me this candle i just took it off the candle warmer so it is still quite hot and liquid as i don't burn my candles i just put them on the candle warmer so it's charmed aroma and this one is the cosmic vibes i'm not quite sure what the scent is it's kind of like got like a vanilla cookie dough um kind of a fragrance to it and it's called the cosmic vibes because it is sailor moon themed jewelry they had the two different candles one had necklace one had earrings um, my daughter knows that i prefer necklaces so i got sailor moon's scepter i just thought that was really cool and speaking of charm aroma candles i have Oops. three more that I haven't even um, used yet so I don't know what is in them but I thought they were so cute little snowman um trying to figure out what the fragrance on this one would be so this one you get earrings so I don't know what the fragrance is mm. it just smells like a pine or like one of those Christmassy scents I don't know it doesn't say the fragrance, it just says scented candle soy wax blend. And then there's this little penguin here. I thought she was really cute. Again, it doesn't say the fragrance. It has the smell of like, if I say like cookie dough, sugar, candy, something like that. Again, it just says scented wax. And this one comes with a necklace. So these will be fun to later this week. And then I have one more, and this would have to definitely be, anybody knows me knows I seem to have this thing with gnomes. So I found this one. So what is that? Oh, tissue paper still stuck to it. Does this one have a fragrance? This one actually smells like, it has like a really fruity fragrance. It doesn't say the fragrance. But this one comes with a uh, ring. And it's an, oh, an adjustable ring. So there's just like a one size fits all kind of a thing. But I just love the little mini globe there with the little gnomes. And I love the candle. Looks like, you know, like a pair of mittens or socks. That does smell more, it smells like fruit. 
just, I'm trying to place it and try to figure out what the scent is. It's not really cranberries. Maybe it's, it's some type of like a winter berry kind of a thing. So I'm just gonna set these aside. I don't want to break them. And then another thing from Charmed Aroma I got it's the little bath bomb and this one has a ring and so this is a one size and it sizes uh, 8 to 11 that's all they had left so it was like 75% you know, off or something so it's the only ring size that they had left and I just I love the little gingerbread house and I love bath bombs uh, I love um, friends so my daughter got me the friends cup and my husband got me this water bottle I just think it's really a cool water bottle so it looks like this so it says central perk but it's a two-in-one so you oh, twist this off so now you've got your water bottle and twist off the bottom now I've got my coffee so now I can take my coffee and my water and when I'm done the coffee, I can put this in here and it's just one container. That was really cool. Uh, my husband also got me a really nice candle. No, I don't burn candles, although he said I, I've got permission to burn this one. But I told him, I said, I can't put it on my candle warmer because of the way it is. But it is a natural handcraft birch candle. So it's got the birch bark. And as you burn it, you're going to get the smell of the birch tree. So my husband said, this candle, I'm actually allowed to burn. So I said, okay, I will do that. This will be the one and only candle that I will burn. But already, even just holding it, you can just smell the, the birch tree. It smells so nice. And then, I'm trying to figure out what's behind me here. My son got me this. Um, he knows I love puzzles. So he got me these wood and metal brain teaser puzzles. So this is going to be a really fun thing to figure out. So we've got a Chinese tea, Greek water mill, the Egyptian, well, Egyptian pie, see the little pie symbol, Roman keys, and the Aztec passion flower. So, again, I just love these type of puzzles and games to figure out brain teasers, but I love these ones that are in a 3D kind of a thing. They're really hard to figure out, so it's going to take some time. So this is going to be fun to do. I know not everybody thinks these are fun. I think these are fun. Um, my sister got me this, the Smart Living Photo Gallery Kit. Um, you just need an inkjet printer. I don't know, I know I have a printer, but I don't know if mine's an inkjet. I, I honestly, I don't know what the difference is. I've heard people talk about various kinds of printers. So this would be really kind of cool. I can actually do some nice photos and print them out. And then, let's see, that's the family gifts. That was the yeah, box for my water bottle. Oh, the other thing we got, um, well, this wasn't really Christmas, it was after Christmas, me and my daughter went Boxing Day, I think it was, yeah, Boxing Day, we just went shopping. And we found these air purifiers. Well, she's wanted one. Uh, this is the True HEPA air purifier by Bion Air. Um, so we got the one that has the pet one. There's different levels of what kind of a filter you need. So we found the ones that say that they were like, um, for pets, you know, like depending, I guess, depending on what you need or what you have. And so these were about 40, these were like $40. Uh, this size was $160 at other places and up. And then London Drugs just happened to have a, this size here was on sale for about 40 bucks. The replacement filters are 30 bucks or something for a pack of three, so they're not going to be that bad um, to do. And I will say, already I have noticed a big difference 
I mean, I know this is for the size of this house is I would need several of these, but we are moving to a smaller house. So I think just one is all, it'll be good for the living room of the other place. But here, just having it plugged in right beside the couch, right where I am, I haven't taken it up to the bedroom yet. I'm going to, it's one of the things I would like to do later today, is just move it upstairs. But I can already tell a difference within like 12 hours i could already tell like the air smelt better my nose was cleared my sinus i mean i sound really stuffed up today i've been really busy doing extra cleaning again i was down in the basement this morning i cleared out under the stairs i was kind of just looking for stuff to clean and so and also i say since i've turned it off i have noticed i can feel the air again it's just different so this will probably really help. And my daughter said she noticed it having it in her room. She's like, yeah, she's able to sleep easier with it. So I do know we do. I am allergic to my pets. I know that. But I love my pets. So, you know, it's kind of like deal with allergies or get rid of the pets. So I'll say so far this has been really helpful. Um, was that everything? Okay, now I'm down to, my husband gave me some money, so I went shopping, and I bought myself some clothes. So I've got this, it was a nice uh, two-piece nightgown house coat set. I just, I love the color. It was from Marshalls or Winners, whichever one. So this is the house coat. So it's got the shorter sleeves, which I love the shorter sleeves for walking around the house, because I always just throw a blanket on anyways. Um, nice little tie. Um, they were on sale. They're normally about 30 or $35. One of these was normally 30. One was 35. Then I got them in the clearance. One was 15 and one was 16. So I think the house coat costs more. And then the nightgown. I love it. Except I'm going to have to do a quick alteration to it. Same with a few other art items. So I will be doing a alteration sewing thing later this week. I do not like when they cross at the back. It's just so what I do is I'm going to undo the little oops can't I hold it my hand just doesn't want to grasp um still so I just undo the little back spots here just undo a couple stitches and then rotate them around the straps around and then just stitch it back on so it's just this little part here just undoing you know the seam ripper just taking those stitches out, taking it apart, just flipping the two straps around and then restitching it. It's the easiest way to fix that problem. Like it's, I mean, otherwise you'll end up saying you can't wear any nightgown. It's just a preference I have. I just, I don't like them when the straps cross in my back. I find it really restrictive. I move a lot. I roll around in my sleep. I'm just on the couch. I'm up with the animals throughout the night. I'm just I'm one of those people, I'm active, so I can't have it. I need it where it's a little bit you know, easier for movement. And the other two items I'll be doing are these pants. So these pants where we finally got a Forever 21, where I live. So these pants were $16 a pair, which is really good, but then they were also 20% off or something. So I got this pair of nice, I don't know if they're red or orange. I don't know, I'd have to ask my daughter. <laughs> can't tell the difference but they are so nice so they've got the little um little you know invisible kind of uh, enclosure thing you know a little button a little clasp whatever it's called and so they actually have pockets at the front and then they're just the mock pockets at the back but it actually has front pockets which i will say is actually almost deep enough for my phone the only thing is, is the pants are just a little too long so again, that's just a quick, easy, just on my sewing machine, just, you know, hemming the pants. So I'll be doing that later this week. I got the ones in, I guess, red or orange. I can't tell. And I got a pair of the black ones, the same thing. So they were normally 16 and they were like 15% off. So I got them for about $12 or so. so. Like I said, the only problem is, is the length is just a little bit too long, but that's an easy fix. And I got myself some little tank top things. And I love these type of you know, like tank tops, but they have the little snaps at the bottom so you don't have to worry about your shirt coming untucked. So I got this nice blue one. Each one has a different style of top part, which I like. And then I got this one here, this rust color one. I know it looks more like a bathing suit, but it's 
I, I like the color and I love tank tops. I'm one of those people who I layer tank tops if you haven't noticed how many shirts I'm wearing. And then I got this black one. And I think the black one was the only one that was not on sale. So these tops were $12.50 and I know I got two of them for seven something because they were also on sale. Except this black one was not on sale for some reason. But that's okay. So I got myself some clothes. And I think that is everything for our Christmas. Um, I got my husband, oh, I just got him a bunch of shirts. Oh, and a pack of hot sauce, just give me one second. That's what I forgot. I forgot to grab the hot sauce that I got my husband for Christmas. I gave all the guys hot sauce and I gave all the girls and women, you know, like coffee or tea stuff. So this one, so he's got the Firestorm hot sauce four pack. So we got the mango habanero, green jalapeno, garlic del fugo, and fiery diablo. I'm not sure, sure. I think I said that one right. It's okay. So uh, my husband kind of likes hot sauce. I don't like it. So I got him the hot sauce and I got him eight brand new shirts. And I think that is it for Christmas. I'm just trying to just looking around make sure I got everything. I think that is everything that we got for uh, Christmas. Um, besides chocolates and candies and hot chocolate and some coffee and tea. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a really good Christmas. I will say I didn't film myself making my Christmas dinner this year like I normally do. Uh, my husband was home, my daughter was home, so we were just as a family making the dinner and my husband was cleaning, and, you know, vacuuming and mopping the house for me. So uh, I think that is everything. I'm just trying to make sure I got all the important things that we got for Christmas. So I guess that's it. Again, I just want to wish everybody a really happy new year and uh, Thank you for subscribing to my channels and watching my videos and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.